Hey everybody, this is Dwayne here behind the camera. Today, that's the top of my four and a quarter inch soda bass sticks. We're going to inject a few. And as always, I've got the cut whoops. Little goop up there. I have already got the plastic ready to go. This is some extra that I had laying here. And I was, had to heat down low and melted it down. And we're going to shoot some four and a quarter inch of my soda bass sticks today. And that's good and ready to go. So, put the glove on here. Okay. And let's get ready to inject these boogers here. And always shove the air out. Pull it back up a little bit. Back down again. Get all that air out of there. And suck it up into it now this hole is not exactly a 5 8 inch hole so we got to be careful or it will shoot out because it's done it to me before whoa I just did it right there shot all out the back now, now that I have never done that's a first you know how full that one's got how much that's got in because it's poured a whole bunch out the back side of it but Okay, topping it off a little bit. Alright, and shoot it back into the pipe up here. I mean, the pot up here. I didn't clean this off like I normally do either, so. See, it's too big of a hurry, I guess. Let's shoot that all out. Alrighty. I'm just getting you. Pull off the top. Pull this off of here. There's not that much, so that's cool. Into the pot it goes, and now we got to shoot this core piece out. So okay, I didn't do it real fast, so it didn't pop it out, but that's okay. It's close enough. Let me just push it on out. We'll stick here like so, and out it comes. Whoa! No, come back here. All right, Put that back down in there to melt down for me. Okay, well, got it all over my fingers here. Put that back on. Okay, set that down a minute. Take off the glove. Lay it on my leg. Alright, well, let's look at this mess I made back here. Great time of day. Look at all that, would you? And down here, it's all up and underneath the. Look at that. Wow! A big old piece there. Uh, let's get this little plastic spoon here. That's a little warm yet, so. Okay. I'm going to have to clean my table up after I, after doing all of this, so. Alright. Throw that back in the pot, too. Get this off my fingers here, like so. Okay. Alright, now. Get off of it. There we go. Pull up here a little bit. Stir up a little. Get that to melt back down for me. Okay, so let me just had three. Well, there's some on the side here I didn't get. Look at that. We done missed that little bit right there. Great time of day. Yeah, okay. So, let's see here. Alrighty, ready. It's set up enough. Let's uh, pull these out now. And open her up. Now, this, is, this mold hasn't got hot yet, so it's pretty easy to handle right now. Well, by the time we get all these done, it's going to be hot as can be. And well... There's what it looks like when it first comes out of the mold. Watermelon red. And there's the other ones laying in the... There's the other three still laying in it. So I'm going to have to cut these up. Like apparently I didn't get enough air out of it or something. So, because I got a bunch of holes in it. So we're going to have to redo that, that, which is no problem. We can do that. Okay. Well, wait a minute now. That one's okay. Let's see. 
I mean, that one's okay. Alrighty. And my scissors, there they are. Okay. Bad thing, see, that's what you, you know, even injecting, you gotta watch it, because sometimes you can still get air bubbles even though you push it out, like those did, so. I may need to, uh, right out just pour it instead and I have to let it cool down a whole lot more first so I don't uh, so I can get the salt down in it that I want so it's for the fish's taste it's for two things it's for the fish's taste and it's for the weight so it's not just only for weight the, the bass love the taste of the salt in it so Well, go and made a big old mess that time. Running down the side of it. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to have to turn it down a little bit if I'm going to do that. But I had just said. Because right now, it's not going to have that much salt in it if I don't. But, oh, well. We'll uh, tear these up. Like so here. And there's the mold. Just four comes forward to a pour, you know, four holes a bowl. Here I'm messing it all up. That's four mold. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna put them together and shoot them. So, and no, I didn't think y'all was crazy or dumb. I just counted them out anyway. Um, we'll do some five and a quarter, but I got several bags, I think. The five and a quarter is a better well, it's the holes are the right size already. I need to take these uh, to a buddy of mine that has a shop up the road and get him to open this up for them to a 5 8. Because that's what that is. And this just does not sit in there, as you can see. I'd like to get it to go in, at least say maybe it right there. It doesn't have to go all the way in because then it's on top of mold, so. Just, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch. Get an eighth of an inch. Get an eighth of it in there, or three sixteenths, maybe, you know. Maybe just an eighth, and it, it would work fine. It wouldn't have that big spill at the back end of it, like it did a second ago. So. Okay. That one on there. Might do that. First thing in the morning, because it's probably getting too close for him to get ready to leave or something, so. Take it up early in the morning. Now I have to take this end in there so he can see what I want. So. Okay. Stir this up. Finally went fishing again uh, uh, this past Sunday, two days ago. I was using my, the, well I caught one first on the, uh, my five inch straight tail, and then the other six were caught on my split tail. Dying shad, I'm sorry, you know, the one that looks more like, a little bit more like the Zoom's super fluke, so. More cut up pieces in that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, wait. we're going to cut this video off. We're going to probably going to end up erasing this. And so we'll see you guys later.